warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. And he says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Them. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- know. You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. The longer you wait to get that gift... Boring. I want you home right after the movie. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. 
Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. You know, I was talking to Janie's mom the other day. Uh, here we go. She's a lovely girl, Peter. She listens to disco, Mom. Oh, crap. I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Sky is clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. I'm sure you can trust Gamora with that thing that I was definitely paying attention to. I trust her with my life. I'd trust her with your life, too. Just not with Groot's. Okay, mean. I've got a lot more experience sneaking into places than you do. I still say me and my tracking device would have better odds of finding him. Not without sounding every alarm in the process. And yes, we're going to find... Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I'm A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got no name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen Orthos tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, <laughs> like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. No I stand correct. Those ain't Shi'ar. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! How's Gamora supposed to find Groot once we've sold him? 
I'll find someone who knows and listen. You're gonna ask for directions? Never said I'd ask. Screw this. I'm not gonna let you just wing it with Groot. Gamora knows what she's doing. She'll find a map or something. Because I'm the navigator, right? Then navigate yourself out of my way. I'm taking my tracking device, and I'll get him out myself. The Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Behold. A woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my king's confidence. Spare me your empty Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not play me for you are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. Uh, I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Don't worry, man. I got this. Women love me. Hey there. Hi. Uh, I'm Star-Lord. Drax is actually with me, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. You may have heard of us. You? No. Oh, well, let me tell you. Now you have. Lucky me. What do you want? Drax, buddy. Show her. Show her what? The monster, man. Open the cage, show her the monster. You should have said that. 
Your kind had been wiped out. So you're interested then? Four thousand units. What? Four thousand units? Are you freaking kidding me? Groot is worth way more than four thousand units. Tell her, Quill. Tell Lady Nutjob we ain't selling Groot for less than eight. Groot is worth at least 10,000 units. You said it yourself. He's the last of his kind. That you know of. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean that even if he is the last of his kind, 10,000 is still too high. Yeah, well, 4,000 units is an insult. I mean, look at the big guy. He's the best buddy you could possibly buy. The best monster. Do something, Peter. Either you pay us what he's worth, we're walking out of here. I get it. I... Look, I know it's a lot. And at first glance, Groot doesn't look like much. Yeah, you tell him, buddy. He's a sentient plant from, from who knows where. He doesn't have sharp teeth or claws or, I don't know, monster stuff. But just look into those big, sweet brown eyes. Groot's a catch. He's worth 10,000 units minimum. Go on. For that price, you get the last floor of... whatever. And we get compensated for our efforts. It's a win-win for everyone. So what do you say? Do we have a deal? <laughs> it seems I misjudged you, Sun Lord. Nine thousand. Final offer. Nine... Th Nine works. Deal. Storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. flirting with a Sagnarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. My best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for Groot. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare in Scuddy father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, 
I'll show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Hey, remember that time in Mantlos on Nowhere? Which one? When the Sakaran challenged you to a drinking contest. I kind of remember I won. Throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm. Quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. That's not what I said. Come on, you were thinking it. She was practically begging for a night with the big galoot. Not Pimps Rocket, and the plan is going just fine as is. Still, we could have strung her along a little, gotten us closer to Groot or something. I will not use my sexual magnetism deceptively. Spoken like someone who's never dated. Not everyone has to trick someone into a date. Reliable? Trust me, this baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that time on Ansara? <laughs> I remember no such time. Before your days, muscles, Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakaar. Why am I not surprised? My doodad led me straight to him, hiding in a spike hatchery. I was not hiding. Yes, you were. Admit it. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just saying. Have a little faith, Woolberry. My tech built them thumpers, it's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. I can't believe we haven't seen a single patrol. Am I good, or am I good? Those are the options. Okay, Tracker says... Ah, come on, you skaggy. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw them take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Laddie does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Uh, the Sycnophian night air is refreshing. Smells like eggs. Burnt hair. Can't find a switch. Maybe we can get access to the circuitry itself. You sure that tracker is fixed? I told you, it ain't broke. I don't like our whole plan relying on some trinket. Well, unless you're hiding a map inside that jumpsuit, it's the best we got. Give her the old laser eyes, Quill. See if you can spot a power source or something. Stairs. There are several stairs. I mean stairs down to group. There's a perfectly good elevator. It's not perfectly good if we can't get it working. Then we better get it working. Drax, think you could lift this thing? Easily. But what do you want me to do with it? Still working on that. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. Think you could have made more noise with that? Of course, but you did not ask. All right. I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Ugh, these ground wires are just tied together. Lucky I don't get fried. 
Do not die in that hole, Rodent. You'll be unable to retrieve your corpse. You're all heart, Drax. My heart is only a small component of my anatomy. You said it! Whoops! Done. Cool! It changed, I can see it! Believe it those are monster mating calls. Okay, that's a little freaky. Primary and secondary relays are connected, you Zarnooks! The tone conveys negativity. Switch this. Done. Ah, oh, this thing is a mess. There's wires everywhere. Have you seen the Milano? Hey! Those are much more organized than they could be. It ain't my fault I ran out of them zip ties. This one. Oh, here. Yep. Okay, here. And here. Got it. Switch this. Done. trying to run this much current through one capacitor. Is there a problem? Just amateurs. This whole board is gonna need to be replaced. Right now. Well, this one. Oh, here. Yep. Okay, here. And here. Got it. Switch this. Done. Okay, this one goes here, and that one goes out! You okay? Yeah, yeah, you just focus on them junction points. This one. Oh, here! Yep. Okay, here. And here. Got it. Switch this. Done. I think you just triggered Lady H's mood lighting. Nonsense. Her mood is measured by the intensity of the storms outside. Well, maybe stop making me power the wrong things? Now, Peter Quill. Yes, now! Kill them now! Deal. Hey, no witnesses, no problem. Maybe I'll better won't miss them. Are we certain there is in fact an elevator? There, keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. You better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work.
See? Nailed it. That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Rude went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. It has been considerably less than smooth. Okay, yeah, we had that one kink, but at least no one raised the alarm. That's what you call a kink? It'll be smooth sailing from here. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I would give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You ain't sure as scut. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. Imagine the headache these guys will have when they wake up. Let's just make sure we're not here when that happens. Peter Quill, are you certain it is not best that we simply cut their throats while they sleep? Very sporting of you. And yes, I'm sure. Rocket, wait for us. Do not wait. Thanks, Drax. What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. It's like the Clark Collection Museum all over again. At least these beasts seem well cared for. Prison's a prison. Oh, what the heck is that? It's my spirit animal. Strong. Definitely not a fan of whatever this is. This creature is grotesque. Yuck. Just yuck. I am familiar with some of these creatures. They're not as rare as I would have expected from Lady Helgen's collection. Never meet your heroes, Drax. Nope, don't do spiders, snakes, or weird tentacle things. Did you sleep with a weird tentacle thing? Jeez, what sort of creature is bad enough that even Hellbender keeps it in the cage? Huh. I'm not seeing any breeding pairs. Maybe she keeps them separate. Malta. The what? The dry grass. Or at least it's supposed to be dry. Yeah, Bro, okay. Don't Easy leave it out button. when you've okay, got a you hole in your Whoa! Hit. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. Come on! Get your asses over here! Ah, 
last witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but uh, Twinkle was close. Good to have you back, Groot. Now all we need is an exit. Uh, I guess Groot knows the way. Hey, wait up, bud. What's going on? Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? You're the one who insisted on this stupid plan. Now that freaking monster queen has... I don't know. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. Hey, come on, talk to me, bud. What did that Bedouin Flarker do to you? Oh, crap. Guardians of the galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend. Yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller! Feast upon them! Get eaten! Watch that, Peter! 
bones are mine, guardians of the galaxy. She will hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scud? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree, tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot, you got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 one problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge, mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze? Nikki! Nikki? Really? There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone. I sunk aboard and there was dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. I didn't go to Rick or say it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. <laughs> yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. Bring her back. I need them all back. Uh, I just have to... Confiscated the llama thingy. A llama. What did I say? Who gives a flying scut? The gold domes didn't get rid of it, and now the array's fucked. I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us. Yeah. Okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scut about the Milano. Look, guys. We need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy on Nowhere has got the parts we need. And he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. The behavior was erratic. The llama thingy chewed the wires, Drax. It was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right. We made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. <sighs> Sounds like Groot's got that toothy bastard under control. Better not come back here and try to finish chewing through my ship! Or else! Hey, hey, Gamora! I was just admiring this super cool assassin ring I got for my favorite super cool assassin. As a token of my, you know... Token of what? Of my everlasting commitment to not being murdered by you. It's gonna take more than a ring. <laughs> it is really nice, though. How do you know what kind of ring it is? Oh, let's just say you're not the first assassin to cross my path. Though, I guess I should be glad no one ever sent the deadliest woman in the galaxy after me. You know, that name is actually a misnomer. Everyone thinks I got it doing Thanos' dirty work. Before, you know, I betrayed him. In truth, I got it after I joined the Resistance, on a mission where nobody died.
What did cause you to betray Thanos? I mean, he adopted you when you were like... Five. He basically raised us, taught us everything we know. So what finally did it? What snapped you out of it? I... found the Resistance. What? Thanos was obsessed. He had me and Nebula combing the galaxy for their location for cycles. Each of us determined to be the first to find them and report back. So when I found them first, I was so excited to tell him. I got home, and I found him talking to an empty room. To someone called Lady Death. That's not ominous. I truly thought he loved us. In his own twisted way. But Thanos didn't want to restore balance to the galaxy. He was just in love with death, literally in love. And he would kill all of us, including me, including Nebula, to prove it. But you couldn't let him. No. So instead of telling him where to find the Resistance, I joined them. You have to tell me about this Resistance mission, especially if no one died. I don't think it's a story you're gonna like. Why not? Because it doesn't make Corel look very good. Okay... The thing you have to understand is that it was the end of the war. The Resistance was losing. Bad. The Shatari knew it, Thanos knew it, we all knew it. But then, Thanos died. At first, people thought it was a false report. Misinformation spread to lure the Resistance out into the open. But when it became clear that it might be true, Corel saw an opportunity. An all-or-nothing mission that could win the war once and for all. The final attack on Shatari Prime. You're talking about the Resistance stealth mission that kidnapped their infant queen. Except kidnapping the queen wasn't part of Corel's original plan. The only reason she had me tag along was so that I would kill the Queen. What? There's no way. Is it so hard to believe? She was grieving. You know that. The Shatari had killed her husband. Her little boy. She wanted revenge, and I was her chance to finally get it. Brel would never put out a hit on a, a, a baby. She would never kill a kid. Believe what you want. But she's not who she was back then. None of us are. Something changed. Maybe it was having Nikki. Either way, I refused and we won the war without killing anyone else. And for reasons I don't fully understand, I became known as the deadliest woman in the galaxy afterward. I, uh... kind of don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. After the Galactic War ended, I moved on. And now I'm here, doing all this fun stuff with you guys. And I wouldn't have it any other way. But seriously, thank you for sharing that with me. Sure.